She's in the way. So. Did you have one point left of movement that you didn't use? You did. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you a cool thing you can do. Is right next to these enemies, or to this one, it's possible that if they can't take care of them, he might attack them. So in order to mess him up, you can insult him. I was just looking at that. And it costs you one movement point to say such bad things to him that he gets all flustered and he can't fight as good, and you get to roll one extra defense dice. All right. <laughs> Definitely insult him. Yeah, I, I would. will, I will Arr, insult I would. him. All right. So now it's your so my turn. So I can go... I move over here, let's say I run over here, uh -huh. so that means I use one action point to get there, but then I can use this to use my action points like normal? No, if you spend that, you just get three action points. Oh, okay. So, so you it would three. actually be better just to go one, two, okay. and use your regular, yeah. And then, then use an action to attack, Right. which I will roll three dice that are on here, uh -huh. right? So you'll roll three dice, I'll let you roll for the red coat. So this is what shows what I'm going to roll. Right. And if anything over two is a hit. Yeah. So that's his agility, and that's what I'm rolling against. Right. So it's got to be higher than that two. Yes. All right. You got three hits on him. Now he's trying to dodge with his agility, which is two. It's two. So what? Anything over anything two. Anything over his agility, which is a three. So my agility so is a three. Four or higher to block. It. Oh dear, I blocked you. I'm sorry. So you, is it block for die or block for the whole thing? That's no, block for die. Okay. So you got two hits on him. You got one hit, but that weapon does two wounds per hit. Okay. He already had three, and his life is four. So he's gone. So he's down. So that was one. So two, that gives three. you a prestige, which means she came in and did the work, and you got the prestige for it. Right. <laughs> and then there's this bag of loot laying there. Right. You can spend one action to pick it up. Hands off. So I can spend an action for right where I'm at? Uh -huh. Okay. To pick that up. No. So that was one, two, three, and I got three actions left. Better keep your hands you off. One, two, and, and then, then three, three to four to attack. It's two. Yeah, it's oh, okay. It's two. Okay. So you, so you have two actions, two actions left. Two actions left. Okay, yep. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I have two left. But then I can use one of these to get three actions? Yes. Okay. So I can go here. So spin this. So does that give me three additional? Three additional okay. actions. So then I can at least try to attack him twice. Yes. So I can attack him now. Hand you attack 
with your, your strong hands. But yeah, you can switch hands. It costs one point to switch. Okay. Well, there's no point in doing that. So, can I go through? I'm okay with it. One, two, three. There you go. So then you have a uh, three die. Three black die for your attack. Seventy percent. Hey, you got big one. is not a block because it would have to exceed yours. Okay. So you got two wounds on them. Yeah, yeah. So I do a little bag of wounds here. And I have seven actions so I can attack again. You that was fun, right? You, oh yeah, you have seven actions. I was thinking yes, for six. I have so seven. yeah, you got one more shot at it, but it will be minus one to your die roll. Well, you gotta go for it. Except your critical is still a critical. That one's not a hit, but both of those are. So now he rolls his two dice again. Roll low. Really low. It's some ones. I like oh, couple come sixes. On. Oh, oh, Steve. Oh. <laughs> so he's still he's still in the game. And he's pretty upset too. <laughs> yeah, he is. Now he's gonna attack me. <laughs> yep. Wait till I get there. Well you can't even get so, there. We've explored. Uh, two tiles, so that goes down every time you score it. Goes I am running. My turn. Yeah. You done? Yeah. Running. One, two, three, four. Can I come across here? No, that's blocked. Right. You have to ask permission if you're going to go in. Now, I'm basically taking four out of six. Uh, here to here, but how, would we share the same space or what? So we just do that. So nobody can go out that way at this point. Okay. Oh, okay. that's 
an adjacent an character roll. may spend three actions and make a strength of four to check to remove it. Yeah. So if somebody wants to spend three actions and try to remove that tile, you can. If this, so why don't you for this, that I don't know that it's no. worth it. There might be a scenario where something would be on the other side that would be worth doing that. Put it by the exit so we know how to play. Oh, okay. All right. So now the person with the most prestige, which I think is you, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you now get to go first. Okay. All right. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all killed all three of the red red cars. Yes. Right? Yeah, story. story there. Story. It's story. It says, read number 96. Remember this. So is that just a storybook or is that like the rules book and storybook? No, this is a story scenario book and then there's another rule book down there. Okay. 96. So, after the last red coat falls to the ground, you rush up to your wounded colleague, but it's too late. A simple look at his wounds is enough to know the grim reapers upon him. You kneel by his side, hold his hand, hoping that seeing a familiar face will at least comfort him in his last moments. He looks at you with glassy eyes and seems to recognize you. You can tell he's trying to overcome his pain to tell you something. You put your ear close to his mouth and listen carefully to his fading voice. We were betrayed. Those guys finished us. They have no word in Those guys finished us all, but they won't find our treasure. Wolf Jones took his secret to the grave. He spurts blood, remains motionless. Terribly saddened by his destiny and swearing for revenge, you decide for, to, uh, to move forward. The character that defeated the last red coat was you. You get goal number one. All right. Has everybody gotten prestige for who they took out and everything too? All right. So now it's on to the next round. Explore. All right. So the one we just did was I five. Make sure I put the right token. So we work this one now? Uh huh. Or I, I four. four. That one's not. I four. four. All right. You get to. So, oh, yeah, I thought for sure when he was laying there. Y'all are going to love this one. Pulling down, you're going to whisper it in your ear. I thought for sure he was going to go rosebud. <laughs> so, when this one comes out, set difficulty level to three. Three. Take this tile off the board. Uh oh. Can't get back to the boat now. Can't get back to the boat. Among the troops, and then add this one in. One way trip now. Yep. Among the trees, you notice a group of red coats. You fall to the ground and hide in the undergrowth. You try to keep still and eavesdrop. One of the soldiers appears to be speaking with an officer. It's a Lieutenant Martin Daniels. He hands him something. You strain your eyes. It's Wolf Jones's diary. Oh, no. With disdain, the lieutenant dismisses the soldier and immediately starts reading the diary. He keeps flipping pages quickly, looking for the treasure's secret. Suddenly, a cry for help. They found you. As the soldiers ready their weapons, the lieutenant issues the order to charge at you. Then he leaves, holding the diary close to his chest. You realize that now the troops have been alerted. You'll have to find another way off the island, as you both will soon be surrounded by enemies. Okay. The lieutenant is an officer. Here's his card. Except for he has five life instead of four, because it's Lieutenant Daniels, rather special officer. Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> um, so there's also, which I'll just use this for now. There's another token for it. I don't, I don't see it out there. But there's also, you can't go that way now. And let's see. If, there's also a few bad guys and Lieutenant Dan in the middle of them. And he's sitting on top, he's carrying the diary with him now. Okay. 
interesting. So now, there we have it. So can I move here? Were you running? I can't no. remember. Um, you can't move now. Okay. So I'm engaged. Exactly. But I can attack this guy in front of me. Yes, sir. I need some dice. Okay. 
and this one counts as an extra hit. So right. that's Is that three? three, four hits. Okay. And he's already got two wounds on him, so he's down. So he's out. He's down and out. Down and out. And look what's laying on the ground. Now it says when he's defeated, read 42. No, 
nothing because he had a critical. So now you take two wounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry, one wound. No, it is two because he had a critical, so it's one extra. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Sorry. Whoops, uh, that's the wrong number there. Let's see, if there, here's one more one. All right. So, now this moves down again. Everybody's gone, right? Yeah, okay. So that goes down again. And whoever has the most prestige. I have three. So I think it's you. Okay, so now I get the So it's okay if I move through here? Yeah. So I'm one. Yeah. One, two, three.
Is it good? Um, uh, kinda. It's like a says, healing potion or it something? It says wrong. Uh, discard this card to recover one. One, one? So you can throw it away and reduce one right now. Right. Hey, wait a minute. I'm a cheater here. When attacked with swords, have they been attacking me with swords? Yes. You can reroll one enemy die. That's one of your special abilities. There. Yeah. And then, and then it also has a ship ability when you get on the ship. Yeah. All right. So who's up next? So we all went. We all went. Yeah. I started to run. So draw an incident card. The red one. Uh huh. You want to do it? Yeah. You can read it. All right. So it says stalked. The water starts to bubble and a long shade. From it, choose a random character on the on a tile of water and place the long shade in the water space closest to them. It confronts immediately. 